President called the impeachment a witch hunt and told the crowd that Democrats are the ones who should be impeached. And back here in Washington, our representatives were a part of this historic vote. Also today's eight hour debate. King 5's chief political reporter Chris Daniels is here with a closer look at today's events. Also how our lawmakers voted today. Yeah, Chris. after months of debate, as you said, in just the last hour, Donald Trump has been impeached on those two articles of impeachment. Let's get right to how Washington's congressional delegation voted. The seven Democrats voting to impeach on both articles. The three Republicans voting no. The majority of the House voting to approve those two articles, making Donald J. Trump only the third president to ever be impeached by the House. A rare day in U.S. history, also filled with theatrics on the House floor. I speak for the people of the 7th District of Illinois, and my vote will be impeach, impeach, impeach. Democrats and Republicans dig in along party lines. This partisan impeachment sham seeks to disenfranchise 63 million American voters. Democrats mostly aligning behind two impeachment charges, abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. Around allegations the president sought a quid pro quo with Ukraine, threatening to hold back military aid unless the country investigated his political rival, Joe Biden. The facts in front of us are clear. This president, Donald J. Trump, coerced a fragile foreign ally to investigate his political opponent and interfere in our elections. Washington and Congresswoman, Democrats Pramila Jayapal and Suzanne Del Bene, part of the majority. It is clear that President Trump abused the power of the presidency and obstructed Congress. The formal impeachment triggers a trial with some similarities to a criminal proceeding before the U.S. Senate. Senators sit as jurors, House lawmakers as the prosecutors or managers, with the Chief Justice presiding. Two-thirds of senators must agree on whether to convict the president and remove him from office, which is unlikely in this case. It's up to the senators themselves to determine the rules of the trial, and today's action has triggered another debate. It's not the Senate's job to leap into the breach and search desperately for ways to get the guilty. Senate Majority Leader Republican Mitch McConnell says he's already been consulting with the White House about how the trial will be run with questions over whether witnesses will be called or not. Washington Senator Patty Murray is the Senate's third highest ranking Democrat, and today, while trying to strike a bipartisan tone, was also pushing the president to provide new information. I hope they take that seriously and provide that rebuttal so that everyone, Republican, Democrat, Americans, see if there is anything counter to what the um, House impeachment managers will bring. If they don't, and if the president chooses not to bring any counter evidence, that's on him. So again, Donald Trump, now the third president to be impeached, along with Bill Clinton and Andrew Johnson. Clinton was impeached as well on two articles. Johnson on 11 articles back in 1868, and he was acquitted in the Senate by just one vote. Some really interesting polls coming out today. The independents, I think, are particularly interesting because right down the middle. I, I think it's interesting, and, and a lot of people are breaking down these numbers in different ways. I mean, you look at a 538 poll, and Democrats definitely have been in favor of impeachment. Right. Percentages I'm looking at here in the 80s over financial conflicts of interest, 72% of Democrats say he should be impeached. And then the opposite end of that spectrum, Republicans, it's still in the teens. And yes, the NBC Wall Street Journal poll that was released today, it's really split. 48% mm -hmm. in favor of impeachment, 48% against. And then when you go into those numbers and you talk about it more and you look, uh, it, it really, the needle has not moved through this entire process in front of the House. Uh, but just 25% of people polled by NBC News and the Wall Street Journal say Trump did nothing wrong on Ukraine. But again, 10% of Republicans say they only see grounds for his impeachment. But it seems like there is some agreement that, that something bad did happen across the board amongst all voters. It's just a matter of whether it was bad enough for impeachment. And over the last few days, weeks, months, it's been a big history lesson for a lot of Americans. We've, we've gone back uh, to the record books about you know, what has happened with other presidents and comparing what's happened here with what happened with Clinton to a degree. 
In, in that case, Clinton came out and apologized. I don't think you're going to see that from this president. That's one of the things that also stands out. Uh, the tenor has been different. There was more uh, of a feeling of a bipartisan uh, gathering, especially on the Senate side when coming up with the rules. We're already seeing everybody kind of lock into their positions. And in the Clinton case, it was on obstruction of justice and perjury. This is abuse of power, obstruction of Congress. So the charges, the articles are a little bit different as well. Yeah, even their reactions have been really different. You talked about Clinton expressing remorse and apologizing to the country and, and uh, President Trump really digging in his heels, even saying today, I did nothing wrong at his rally in Michigan. Well, and you look at the numbers as well, going back to the Clinton era in 1998, a majority of Americans, vast majority of Americans opposed impeachment. This is really 50-50, mm -hmm. and I think that helps Republicans to stand strong in the House and in the Senate and say, hey, look, Republicans don't want us to move forward on this. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that's part of the dialogue, the right. polling, the fact that the polling is different now than the Clinton era, I think, may, is a factor in what we're seeing back in D.C. It will be fascinating come uh, November on for sure. On to the Senate. Yeah, that's this all moves. January. Yep. Yeah, that Thanks. in January. Chris, thank you. And speaking of that poll you mentioned, let's dig into that. A new poll from NBC News and the Wall Street Journal that shows Americans again, are still split on impeachment along party lines mostly. The poll finds, uh, found that 53% of Americans polled supported the impeachment inquiry, but only 48% supported impeachment and removal. And equal 48% were against it. Now to show you how partisan this is, 83% of Democrats polled supported impeachment, 90% of Republicans were against it. So looking ahead to 2020, 48% of respondents said they were certain they would vote against President Trump.